In this screencast I will show you how to import, analyze uh, and create reports uh, from Basecamp data. So at first you can uh, sign up uh, using your uh, 37 signals ID account. I will allow access uh, for authentication and I can sign up uh, with confirming that I will use uh, my uh, this provided information. And then I need to create a new account where I will import my Basecamp data. I will pick a free plan just for me to, to try it out. And uh, uh, now I need to go to source data and uh, define no source from Basecamp. Uh, I will leave the default cube name there. And now I need to authenticate that uh, EasyBI uh, can import data from my Basecamp account. So I can select from which Basecamp account I want to import data if I have several. And it will automatically start importing of data. It will take some minute or so. And after uh, it has uh, finished import, I can uh, start uh, to analyze it. At first I will show you how to create some ad hoc reports. Uh, I will go to Analyze tab and I see that I have uh, uh, many measures imported uh, with the different data from Basecamp and uh, I can uh, analyze these measures by different uh, dimensions. One is projects and tasks where I have uh, also milestones and to-do lists and um, to-do items. And then I have a people dimension where I can have companies and persons and I have time dimension where I can analyze over by yearly, uh, month, quarterly, monthly hierarchy or weekly hierarchy. And uh, let's create some sample reports. So let's pick uh, to do items due. So I want to see how many uh, due items are per uh, project uh, to do items and per responsible persons. I picked uh, uh, per people dimension at uh, person level and uh, now I will move measures dimension over to pages and uh, now I can maximize uh, result area and now I can drill down to see uh, all projects grouped by companies and then I can drill down uh, into milestones and milestones I can drill down into to-do lists and to-do lists I can uh, drill down into individual to-do items. The, let's uh, pick now some uh, ready-made sample reports which will be automatically defined when you will import your data. So in this sample report uh, so you can see also all your uh, projects and milestones and to-do lists and to-do items uh, there. And there you can see different measures like uh, so now I'm looking at some estimated and actual hours and estimated hours are uh, automatically taken uh, using this convention that at the end of to-do item you are entering a uh, number of hours that you have estimated for this task and I can see just maybe just active projects and I can pick and see how many overdue items I have and then drill uh, into a particular to-do list and see individual overdue to-do items which have uh, passed their due date or I can uh, select a particular person so let's pick me and I can see how many to-do items I have completed or which are due uh, where I'm responsible uh, or I can uh, select some different persons and see uh, uh, their to-do items and uh, let's now uh, pick just one project and I will drill uh, into uh, all to-do items in this project. And let's uh, see which are my uh, to-do items with uh, most effort. So I'll pick so which uh, items have 80% of the total estimated hours. And I can add all other 20% are, are the following uh, number of hours. And uh, let's uh, analyze uh, this, uh, so let's pick just this estimated hours measure and add some additional measures like actual hours and uh, to-do items due. And now uh, I can uh, uh, review these results in a bar chart as well. So let's switch to bar chart and so I can uh, now see these uh, measures visually. And let's have a look at some other sample uh, charts uh, that will be automatically created for you. So let's pick uh, activity timeline where you can over uh, uh, 
uh, time see uh, what, uh, what uh, different activities you have performed and uh, you can zoom in and zoom out into this timeline or we can pick some weekly statistics uh, pie charts where you can uh, see uh, for example to do items uh, by week and by responsible person or some uh, pick some uh, other measure like total to do items completed or uh, actual uh, hours spent on these to-do items and uh, split it by persons who have performed uh, these hours. And uh, if I have many reports I can also create dashboard pages where in one page I can see uh, all my uh, most interesting reports together. So let's pick all my three sample reports. I can uh, specify in which uh, layout I would like to see them. I can preview results and uh, so if I like this uh, dashboard page I can save it and give it a name. And I also can uh, publish some reports in uh, Basecamp uh, messages. So I, I can uh, uh, select embedded link from EasyBI and uh, in uh, Basecamp I can create a message and in this message I can paste in uh, this embedded code uh, to see uh, this report. And I can change width of report as well as needed. And let's save it. And after reloading the page, so inside uh, Basecamp message, I can see my embedded EasyBI report. And uh, it is a fully functional report. I can modify it and uh, selections and uh, see results. And, and I can comment it and share my findings with other people in my team. So I uh, hope that you, uh, you liked it as well. So please go and sign up uh, to EasyBI and uh, try these reports by yourself. Thanks.